you, when you talk about doing like a whole backup of your entire drive, so the first time that you run it, it's going to back up the entire drive, and then what after that, it just does incremental backups. So like how exactly, yeah. How much time would we be looking at for that first backup? I don't know. It depends on how big your uh, your system is and what what all your applications you have set up, right? Yeah. I, th I believe my initial backup took uh, a couple hours, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and subsequent might, depending, since some then? people, from what I understand, some people just do it overnight. You know, you just set oh, it yeah, up to go, sense. and uh, and you go to bed. You come back in the morning, and yeah, yeah. So and your... uh, out of the box, it does an hourly. Uh, snapshot, but uh, but I've uh, I'll show you later. I've done a thing to override that because oh, okay. um, I prefer to just do a daily backup. Is that going to affect performance if you allow that to run every hour? It depends on how much RAM again you have. Uh, for me, I f I just there's this thing in the back of my head that says I need as much RAM as possible. <laughs> so, you know, I need as much memory as possible. So I just uh, I personally prefer it to just go. Um, you know, every day at 5:15 because I typically end around five, and right, and it so just does a wrap day. up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, the nice thing about it is that when it does start running, um, it shows up in your. Uh, I'll, I'll actually start one right now. Um, there's you. <laughs> uh, there's a in your menu bar up up in the top right. Um, there's the time machine icon, and you just hit that. And uh, it says the latest backup was today at 6.50. And you can just hit backup now um, so you can override that automation. And as you can see, there's just a bit of an animation there of it just spinning so yeah. you know it's doing something. The clock is going in reverse, so it's just <laughs> uh, making a snapshot. Cool. Also, in your finder, uh, where your uh, volume that you're actually backing up to, it's also doing this sort of... Um, animation just to kind of let you know what's going on. Right. So um, when do you actually set up the like where it's uh, told to save the backup to? Like is that like when, the first time you plug in a drive it's going to ask you? Yeah exactly. Is If you have never set up Time Machine before mm -hmm. then, uh, then what it'll do is it'll come up with your system preferences and just say uh, it's found a new device you don't have Time Machine set up yet so do you want to take advantage of this um, of this volume to be your backup okay. volume? Okay. Cool. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty user-friendly as far as that goes. Not a lot oh, of yeah, it's, it's super user-friendly. I was really uh, uh, impressed when I first got into Leopard. Um, nice. So if, I'll just quickly show you. In my system preferences, uh, there is a Time Machine uh, preference panel. And, uh, and in there, there's a nice big Time Machine logo. You can actually turn it off with this giant switch. So <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to, but uh, if you wanted to yank your drive out or whatever. I can and, picture and if you click that, I'm going to hear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I w yeah, I, I, I kind of wonder if there is a little uh, audio thing there, because I've, I've never actually done it before. It would be funny if it, if it was kind of like that. Um, <laughs> that scene in Ghostbusters where they turn off the big uh, the big machine that holds all the ghosts and it's just like uh, <laughs> yeah um, right okay well we'll take let's so, take uh, let's take about five minutes Tyler and just kind of zip through uh, Time Machine and there was another backup software that you wanted to look at as well. Um, just so that we kind of have an idea, especially for those Mac users. And of course, if you're watching this in the chat room, this is Category 5 Technology TV. We're online at www.category5.tv. We are talking today to our uh, resident correspondent uh, with regards to Mac data backups. Tyler Steingart is joining us from Barrie, Ontario. And if you have any questions, Carrie is standing by in the chat room, Category5.tv. She's ready to ask Tyler your question. Uh, so just uh, get on over there. Category5.tv. Take it away, Tyler. Thanks. So, uh, so yeah, as I, was, as I was going through with the uh, system panel here for Time Machine, um, I was saying earlier that as soon as you uh, plug in your, your sp either if it's an external hard drive or uh, if you have a, a Mac Pro and you've plugged in um, more hard drives into another bay, for instance, um, and when you first boot up, it'll it'll say, "Hey, do you want to use this as a time machine thing?" And uh, if you say yes, it'll just start going right to work. Um, after that, in your system preferences, you'll see uh, the actual disk that's 
uh, that's being utilized. So I just named my disk Time Backer, um, and then it tells you how much uh, that disk is and how much is available left on it. Um, so the oldest backup I have is from April 2008, and uh, and that should be a complete backup of my of my system. And now the latest backup is the one I just ran moments ago. Cool. Um, that's just a snapshot of anything I changed since uh, you know five o'clock today when it automatically went. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Uh, and then it tells me that the next scheduled backup is an hour from now. Uh, and that's just that's just a default thing. Um, I'm not going to really, uh, I, I believe the, the system that I use to override that default doesn't actually change that, uh, yeah. that little thing there. So if I just go and um, unlock the, these preferences here, then so I can actually get into some more options. Sorry, I'm messing around with some things here. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that, Tyler. Not at all. Not at I don't all. have as fancy of a setup as you do, Robbie, so things aren't as seamless. Mine is pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. So, uh, if you're watching back in order class, to... you know. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Tyler. Sorry. Um, so in order to get into some more advanced settings, you have to um, unlock, uh, as an administrator, you have to unlock some of these settings because the user account that I'm currently in isn't at an admin. Um, user, but now I could actually go ahead and change a disk if I okay. wanted to. Uh, I have another hard drive plugged in right now. I could go ahead and use that volume. Yeah. Um, it has some other files on it right now, some video production files. So it, I believe it would just leave those alone, and uh, and it would create another folder and and go through um, as right. a, as a separate sort of um, thing on that drive. In my options, um, I can tell my time machine not to back up certain things. Um, I can tell it not to back up certain folders. Uh, I don't know what I would not want to back up, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So if I take a look at my home folder, let's say, so under my um, places thing, I drop that down, and I have my desktop, um, and then my home folder. And if I go into my home folder and I go, um, let's say, documents, and I say, oh shoot, um, I just deleted this PDF. Uh, there, I just deleted it. And uh, where did it go? I don't know. Uh, let's go into Time Machine. I love the so narrative. So if, if I just go up to the corner here, uh, and I can actually go to um, Enter Time Machine, if I just click that, it zooms me into this world of its own and um, just takes me right out of Mac OS X but it leaves the finder window and on the side on the right hand side here you'll see almost a, a backdated timeline that you could just quickly zoom back to Thursday July 22nd it'll and I can't actually zoom back that far because <laughs> I don't have backups from that far on this actual uh, right, right. login. So you can actually just user. jump back to the backup that happened 10 minutes ago and then recover that exactly. file and just delete it. So very similar to what we were looking at last week with back in time on Linux, but with a, a, a fancier GUI and a really nice interface. And right, so all I have to do is click. There's an arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah. And if I just click that arrow, it'll go back to a time when um, that PDF actually existed okay. uh, in that folder. Very nice. Wow. So or if, if I had changed that PDF, it would also go back in time to the point where I had last saved that PDF mm -hmm. um, prior to the current save. You know, if I, if I accidentally, um, instead of pressing Save As when I was creating another, another document, mm -hmm. and I just hit Save, and I accidentally overwrote all the previous things I had done, um, I've actually done this before, and this has saved my butt. There's a, big, there's a big button in the bottom corner that simply says restore. Okay. I just hit okay. that, and it brings the, the file back into, into uh, present oh, okay. day, so then it's and right there it is. There. Very nice. There's my PDF. He just went back in time, people. Amazing. That's right.